What's up everybody out there in YouTube land? Rack2501 here. Alright, uh, this is another video from Soundsmith. Uh, man's Guide to the Big Earner. I like these man guides he does. They're pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, this is by Soundsmith. So let's see what the man has for us here. Alright, uh, blah blah blah. Alright, and go. Okay, here we go. Focus, lines, colors. Speed. I am speed. One winner. Really, dude? Users. Seriously, I dude? MGE losers for breakfast. <laughs> MGE. Maybe I should have warmed up. A little MGE could be good for me. No, no, no. Stay focused. Stay speed. focused. Focus. Oh, Fashion my God. Fast. Quicker than quick. I yeah. am the spy from Team Fortress 2. Hey, spy. Ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god, man. Oh my god. The speed boost from the big earner, yeah. Okay, I get it, I get it, dude. Okay. Oh, 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 oh god. Right there, guess, the big earner is all about speed. You lose 25 health, but in return, get two on kill buffs. One gives you okay. 30% ear cloak back, and the other gives you a 35% speed boost. This lasts about three seconds, but resets if you get another kill. Unfortunately, this speed ah. boost doesn't stack with other speed boosting effects, like the conch or disciplinary action, but honestly, that might be for the best. If the devs allowed that to happen, we might end up with some unexpected side effects. Really? The Mari? Anyway, the Mario it. These stats might seem far dude. simpler than some other weapons we've covered, but this on-kill effect is so important that it can fundamentally dude. change how you play Spy. Check this out. So in this clip, I... <laughs> Okay, maybe we should talk about this part first. 25 health might not seem like that much, but it actually drops you down to arguably the most important damage nice. threshold in the entire game. 100 yeah. health. Before you yep. die in one hit to quite a few things, crit stickies, the direct hit, sniper, you know, the normal things that you would expect to get one shot by. But at 100 health, you also die to all of these? Okay, how did you even fit that? <laughs> yeah. Everything about Damn. this knife is fast. You run fast, you get cloaked oh. fast, and you die. Really, really fast. Dude, you were invisible at the time. <laughs> Pretty much every class can just insta give you now, and that threat gives this weapon a real sense of excitement, tension. You really have to be careful when you're getting in, since a team with any amount of awareness is not going to tolerate your French misdeeds. But if by some oh, miracle you do man. manage to perfectly slip behind enemy lines, wait for the perfect moment, and line up the perfect stab, once you swing that knife, all eyes will be on you. Yeah. Spy! Oh, shit. <laughs> Now at this point, you've got two options. You can live out your fantasies as a spy man and go for the craziest chain stab anyone in that circle oh, has ever seen. Or you could take the more practical option and run like a little bitch. Yeah, run like a little bitch. I gotta be honest with you, using this weapon <laughs> turns the whole game into a kind of choose your own adventure situation. Yeah, there Moving you go. health essentially has you walking on a tightrope the whole time. So your entire experience is gonna hinge on what you do with that speed boost. And as I'm sure you've guessed by this point in the series, this isn't your typical tutorial. What, do you think we were gonna give you practical advice? Well, sorry, I'm not Uncle Dane. So let's talk about how a real man co-mercenary uses the big earner. I mean, a total okay, psychopath. That was good. Yeah, I think we got it. But really quick, before we keep going, I just got an email from corporate. Oh yeah, what'd they say? Uh, they want you to take a fair option. Wait, really? They want me to talk about playing it safe. They know what channel this is going on, right? I know. Yeah. I know, but I'm looking at it right here, and it says. Dude, these animation bits are awesome. Kids that watch your videos, or else they're going to be cutting our funding. Seriously, they're not all kids. My analytics say that my viewers are mostly. Okay, that's fair. All right. Fine. Let's talk <laughs> okay, about that's safe, fair. But it's still my show. <laughs> Sorry. Our show. So yeah. this turns out to be lame, I'm still, gonna still talk my... about the other option. Yeah, you're right. Our show. That's a first. Fuck you. Right, let's keep going. <laughs> Next in three, two. A lot of spice thing involves being a slippery little bastard, and the big earner takes that to the next level. The speed boost combined with the extra cloak on kill makes this the perfect getaway tool. In this clip, I'm gonna decloak way behind enemy lines. I just wanna make absolutely sure that nobody sees me, and I'm gonna try and go for somebody here and get the sentry. Uh, my team might blow my cover at uh, <laughs> hey, bro, you got something on your back. You mind turning around for me? Roll a deception check. Roll a deception check. Are you serious? Ooh. 
Okay, wow. cool. Thanks, man. Uh, anyway, I'd stab it, sap it, and then get out with the speed boost. Then Another fail. So in this clip, I'm going to go for the medic. So I'm going to decloak when nobody's looking, walk up, get the key pick, and then make like a World oh. of Warcraft rogue and get out of there. Make it like a World of Warcraft rogue and get out of there. Nice, man. That's how rogues do it, from but behind. Because I had the speed boost, I was able to get out. Because I made the decision to play passively, the game rewarded me, and I'm able to get another pick on the sniper. Wow, corporate, a bit heavy-handed, don't you think? Eh, it doesn't matter. Yoink. I'm watching their spawn wave closely no. here, just to make sure that it's safe to decloak. And once I'm sure, I go ahead and decloak, and this guy was just sitting in spawn for like 30 seconds, apparently, so I'm just gonna matador him, extend the dude, speed boost one more dude. second, make a big jump, just barely make it out with the speed boost. I'm kind of coming around on uh -huh. this. This can actually uh -huh. be pretty exciting. Also, fun yeah, fact, that can end badly. Cloak isn't gained in the same way that you would get the cloak from an ammo pack, which means that if you wanted to all but guarantee a getaway, you could even use this... Oh, seriously? Damn. I know, just read the lines. Uh, <laughs> even use this with the dead ringer. In this clip, I get two stabs on people that I guess just don't have the Zero ears. signature weapon! The dead ringer to make my getaway. And so I'm just gonna jump down here. And normally I would have to wait or pick a better spot to decloak, but since I'm using the big earner, I can just decloak behind more people that don't have ears. Get two stabs, and then look, it's already recharged. If there was somebody chasing me, I would have gotten away. As weird and volatile as this weapon can be, this playstyle, when done right, can be consistently effective. Seriously, using your speed boost to escape is a completely viable strategy if you're a bitch! If, if you want to be consistently bitch. effective, just <laughs> use the stock knife! Or, how about this better idea? Pick better spy! Better I spy! Effective. That's lame as hell! This is the time for cool shit! So you know what? Fuck this. I'm running this back. <laughs> Let's talk about how a real Manco mercenary uses yeah, the Yeah, like a maniac. Using the speed boost like to get out. Like a total freaking psychopath. Instead, use the speed boost to go back in. I mean, seriously, look at all these backs just asking to be stabbed. Like, how could you not just... Oh, Wait, huh? Cut your funding. Are we still recording? Ugh, we just lost power. I think they cut our funding. Well, shit. What do we do now? Sounds good, whatever. Like manipulate said. the market like I usually do. They're onto that shit. Hmm. Well, there is one thing that we can do. Oh, like a sponsor? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Marketplace shut down its seller program, so I don't think that's an option. Ah, oh, nah. Don't worry. I know a guy. Let me call in a favor real quick. Oh, what wait the? a minute. You don't mean. We'll be they right were, back. I'm they went to, from you know, SFM to um, Gmod. The Huck Cristoli Show. That's right. Your favorite niche internet micro celebrities are hosting the wackiest <laughs> interviewing show. Join Chris and Lee as they explore the intricacies of man's guided <laughs> sounds myth. Hey, everybody. While they explore the deepest, the innermost parts of Cinny's mind. Does he have the money to buy shit? Yeah. As they blackmail and coerce <laughs> Uncle Dane into coming out of the show. Hi, I'm Uncle Dane. Hi, I'm Uncle Dane. Hi, I'm Uncle Dane. Hi, I'm Uncle Dane. <laughs> And so, oh, so, God. so much more. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. And listen, if you just watch a little bit and bump our numbers, I promise we've got so to... Teacher look of superiority. Just watch the crystal. That's true. That's very true right there. In the studio. You don't even work Please watch yeah. crystal. Let's get right back to our feature presentation. <laughs> okay, that's enough shilling. The power's nice. back. Nice. I think we've got enough to fund the rest of the show ourselves. Are we ready? Look at the uh, booger and hanging out of his white cool. line. The big earner is a volatile weapon, and as such, you should behave just as volatilely. And by that, I mean, just go for more stabs, dude. Like, sure, you could make a clean getaway with this knife, but what's that really gonna get you in this clout-driven world? <laughs> yeah, dude, that sniper pick probably helped your team out a bunch, but how's that gonna look in a montage? Exactly. You gotta do a montage. Oh. I am this spy. Yeah, you're really just thought. Yeah. You're a spy. You're gonna die a lot. So you might as well just take down as many people as you can before it happens. Might as well have fun with it. Terms. Like, look at this clip. There's like six people on the cart. If I do anything, I'm gonna immediately die. So you know what? Forget the getaway. I'm just gonna go in, drop their medic, and then run all the way over here to this soldier. And you know what? I got another die. person before I went down. Same kind of deal. They're pushing the cart up the ramp, and I can't let that happen. So I decloak, stab this sniper, make the 100 meter dash all the way to this medic, and stab him right before I die. And because I did that, instead of running away like a bitch, guess what? 
cart didn't go up the hill, and we ah, win the round. You'll often find damn. yourself in this situation where players are really spread out, and if you feel like a getaway is impossible, the big earner enables you to take down one more person. Oh, with you. you basically get dude, a buy one, one free, from? but with backs. It's bogo backs. Damn. I don't know. Anyway, my point is that trades are very often worth it if you just go for it instead of running away. Really, why would worth you it. waste the most fun part of this entire weapon? You get to kill guys, zoom like Tim Allen, and then immediately die. Zoom like Tim Allen. Or a Sandman ball, or a fly sneezing. <laughs> a fly sneezing. Dude. By the way, fun fact, did you Whoa, know that I gotta read that all <laughs> Big Earner spies when a dust particle touches them for 0 0.1 seconds. By the way, fun fact, <gasps> did you know that the Big Earner's speed boost helps with trick stabbing? Yeah, I know there was no segue, but just forget about it. Segways take time and money, neither of which we have much of right now. Most of the time, players try to counter a trick stabbing spy by backing up and making sure to track them properly, not losing sight of them. But tracking is built off of muscle memory, which is usually based off of them knowing how fast spy normally moves. So I bet you can see where this is going. What if, and hear me out here, the spy was going faster? What if? Yeah, most of the time people don't realize how fast a big earner spy actually moves, which makes it really easy to outstrike them. Like this clip where the engine gets stabbed before the medic can even blink, guess what? Drop. Here's another good one. Demo gets stabbed and this other demo who's right on my ass thinks he knows how fast I'm going. Nope. And the crazy thing is this works with most trick stabs. It works with corner stabs, going around the corner, matadors, baiting them into looking the wrong way, stair stabs, jumping down stairs or other slopes, and under stabs, like underwear but with the knife. What? Honestly, you know what? Forget the fancy <laughs> names. All you have to do is outstrafe them and with a big earner hell? speed. That's pretty easy, especially if they're playing with low sensitivity. Because as long as you move faster than their camera does, guess what? It's back time. This pyro, but, back time. This scout, back time. This demo who doesn't even know I exist, back time. This demo who knows I exist, back time. Back time. This sniper, back time. This spyware heavy, oh, you know it's back time. This soldier, back time. And check this out. This demo, aerial back time. Aerial back time. <laughs> Not gonna this lie, soldier, that's a badass move. This demo is up there, so I can't get to him. This soldier, back time. This medic doesn't want back time. Good decision. See this pirate <laughs> in the corner, and he gets stabbed, and guess what? Fool, you may have been able to dodge my bullets normally, but what you failed to consider Seriously, was that dude? I'm speed boosted, the Joe, Joe which means my bullets are speed boosted too. Die. Hey, yeah. single speed stabs are cool and all, but we know why you're really here. You want to see some chain stabs, right? Well, friend, let me show you some fucking chain stabs. <laughs> These guys are. You want to see some? You have footage chain, chain stabs, right? Stabs, right? Well, friend, let you me show you some stabs, fucking right? <laughs> chain stabs. These guys yes. are not prepared for what's about to happen to them. Stab that sniper. Stab Two, that demo. Get that soldier three. and get that scout you know what forget Four, going fast damn. i am the fast same game by the way and it's time to eat ass and One, go fast i don't know why two, kj put that in my script but i three, did a quad stab so i guess it's here to stay let me in let me narrow the clip no fuck you you're too laggy what are you doing terrible no, it's fine don't worry i don't believe you but fine we're going fast oh, that was a spy. okay today we're gonna be playing uh tf2 oh gonna get backstab going to get the pyro uh we're getting the demo uh, we're gonna get the medic eventually uh third time the charm uh okay get the soldier and uh, and I gotta get a scout. <laughs> why did you? Why did that work? I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, when you're under the stab, influence of condition stab. 32, nothing can stop stab. you. Except, Damn. You know any of these? Hey, you know. Except you know faster than the bigger <laughs> car. No, not that car. This car. That's a car. <laughs> All right, hot shot. Show me what you got. Why? What's got a bumper car. Uh huh. Got I can see car. that. What do you do with it? Get the bumper car. You gotta they kill didn't even kill look people. at you. What the heck? Okay, well, <laughs> I tell you, it's great. You're at least gonna die here, right? What the hell? Nope. Oh my god! Yeah, you remember like those old, like whole Ninja Defuse videos, like on BIOS yeah, 2? Yeah, KYR Speedy. Yeah, it's uh, basically yeah, that. See, look, I like I defuse the medic. I oh my the god! It literally is. Dude, I think he's the, oh, 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 the best spy to ever play this game. Oh, oh, no lie. Uh, that's <laughs> it just dice too, worked out half the damn time. Thank you. Okay, but in this that's one, they're capping last. You lost the round. What even happens in this? Did you get like a taunt kill or something? I may have lost the round, but I won the war. How did you? Final warning, end of. Please enlighten me. Oh my god! Is every server just gonna be filled with bumper cars now? Yes. <laughs> he didn't even notice him. Sound Smith went bottom. We're out of money again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I, think we, I think we need to wrap this up. Yeah, okay. Oh you're my right. God. No, I, I actually I wrote something earlier for this. The kids are gonna love it. Hang on. So those are your two choices. You can probably guess which one I prefer, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any fun Blah. with my passive playstyle. The thrill of just barely slipping away with your life is pretty awesome to experience and is almost as cool as just. That was a face step. 
almost. I'm gonna go ahead and give the Big Earner and both of its playstyles 70 miles per hour in a 60. At the end of the day, these are both totally valid playstyles. Why waste time trying to figure out which one is technically better? Life's too short for that, especially when you're using this thing. So hey, if you're a real Manco mercenary, you'll just pick whichever one is more fun for you. Mm. Yeah, just kidding, a real Manco mercenary only goes for butter knives. Yeah, that's right, bitch. We get the speed boost, even if it's not a backstab. Eat your heart out, Kunai. We're playing shitty demo night now. Woo! <laughs> shitty demo night. <laughs> Clockwork Smurf. Got something that looks like they're at the end there. Most of the other stuff by sounds bad. Get patient with the series, it's a blast. Yeah, it takes forever, but it's totally worth it. Sal Smith, Zeno Jean, Clockwork Smurf, the for Lazy Purple. Oh wow, Lazy Purple was the DJ announcer. Wow! Way to go, Lazy! See him back! It's good to see him doing stuff. He's been having some personal problems lately. He announced that on his channel. And I feel bad for a guy. Tim Allen. What is that? Oh, Undisclosed right. location. Should go, should go live any Corporate second. desk squads. What do you want to do with the other stuff? Oh, I got. I got to have a look at this. This incentivizes a better version of the big earner butter knife slash ambi playstyle. You'd lose out on backstops in exchange for a better survivability. Any more streamlined way of doing this combo? Ideal gameplay would constantly be constantly swapping between gun slash rapier, maintaining short duration buffs while ping ponging between people like a duelist similar to the to I Turner. Can charge like a huntsman headshot also load flintlock. Speed boost question mark okay. Flintlock stats rapier stats okay. Okay, Kunai 2H2, Salt Spire Rapier Weapon, Shitty Demo Knight, Synergy with Ambi. Okay, Backseat Gaming, Better Baiting, Butter Knife, Choose Your Own Adventure Format, Earner Puns, Spy Commits Tax Fraud, Zoom by Tim Allen. Dot none of y'all have figured out the stereotypes, ARG still. Like, damn, get your act together, lol. <laughs> Scrapped bits. Man's guide, ARG. Hey. Dude, this is dumb. Let's just scrap it. Yeah, you're probably right. So, what weapon should we do next? Mm. Oh, dude, we should totally do the- Man's guide. Okay. All right, so is that right? Okay, just it did just end. I was just checking it real quick. All right, so that was a man's guide to the big earner. That was cool. I see these things about spy, and I want to try spy, but God, I am so ass at spy, like really bad. Uh, I wonder if this will uh, cause, uh, will inspire uh, Zero in any way. He's the spy. He's the spy main, not me. Me, it's Pyro. Also because you know I don't have very good aim, bad eyesight. That's a whole other story. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> that was that was hilarious, man. I love these things. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, guys. Share on social media. Help this channel grow, just like my old channel, you know. And especially spread the word over there. Tell people to come on over here and say hi, you know. Join me here. Subscribe here, please. I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content. Bye-bye.